Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Holly Randall Unfiltered, coming to you live from the Joy City booth at the ABN show. Joy City is the first adult erotic metaverse platform. You can see it playing behind me. Uh, make sure you go to joy.city to sign up for email updates because there's a lot coming your way. So right here I have the marvelous Demi Sutra who I was also able to interview at our last AVN, which yeah. was like two years ago. Yes. Shit's changed since then. Crazy. Yeah. I, I'm happy to be back. We're here. How does this convention feel to you versus like the last one? Does it feel different to you at all? To me, I feel like this one is more homey somehow. Mm -hmm. Somehow um, I'm seeing fans that I recognize from the last one. I'm seeing fans from my OnlyFans. I, it's really, it feels really homey to me because yeah. it feels like um, all of our like little porn lover family is here. And it's, to me, I have less anxiety I guess just because I love the layout and I think everyone looks really great so yeah, yeah. what do you think about that um, I like it too. It's yeah. see, like I think because it's separated into different rooms. Oh, that's what it so is. So this, it's less like crowded and traffic. Though it is early on. What's today? Wednesday. Wednesday. So oh, like yeah, this is, is the like, slow day. Oh, yeah, it's gonna get busier. So okay, we shit. may well, not I'm be excited. saying the same thing on Friday. Okay. <laughs> on Friday we may be like, "Fuck this! Oh There's too God, many people here, and it's insane." Home. Yeah. <laughs> so this is like probably the slowest day, but this feels like a nice pace to me. I, this is great for me. Yeah. I'm having a blast. Um, what's it like seeing your fans again? I saw those guys that were just like so excited oh, to meet you. I honestly, it's an honor. They make me want to tear up. I'm a very emotional person, and it means a lot. Um, to me to be appreciated by people. I'm literally like such an emotional person. <laughs> so yeah, it meant a lot to see people and um, that particular group, um, all of them are autistic like me and so we're all on the spectrum and so um, to be able to like relate to my fans in that way and kind of all agree that we're all oddballs and that it's fine and it's great yeah. it really means a lot to me so so this is the first time i've heard you mention that you were autistic Do, is that a recent discovery of yours is that something that you've always known but you're just like being yeah. more open about it now i would say it's something i've always known um i got diagnosed when i was eight um but i always um, medicated, whereas now I kind of try natural things, I try certain teas, I try stuff like that. Um, I'm an advocate for whatever works for you, but yeah, I recently did get more comfortable um, being outspoken about my autism and being on the spectrum, just because I think um, it's important yeah. to be real. I've never try I feel like I kind of tried to portray this like image of perfection when I first got into the LA side of things and it didn't work for me and so then I was like okay I, cut the crap authenticity is the way to go so yeah I found that that really rings true especially like since I started this podcast and started sitting down and interviewing people um, about like who they really are as right. people because you know before and especially before like the internet and all these personal creator platforms that we use now like only right. stuff, allowed you direct access to your favorite fans right. it really was about being like this perfect Barbie doll like, okay. lots of makeup like, I don't like, fit into that at all like but I think that people really and I think that the fact that we've seen platforms like OnlyFans explode yeah. and stuff like that is that the fans are craving that because they're yeah. human beings too yeah and they want to know that you know that these women that they look up to and admire like also suffer the human condition. Yeah, we are real people. Like I literally am very outspoken about my um, mental struggles like depression and especially after the past two years and everything we all went through, I think it's, um, it's needed. Yeah. So it's almost like worked out in my favor to be like, Ugh, fuck it, this is who I am, I don't care somehow it has worked out in my favor and I am just so grateful for that I'm like wow so because people do want authenticity now yeah. they don't want a picture perfect cookie cut out they want realness yeah so and do you do you find that it's been more freeing now that you're more open about who you are do you feel like it yeah I feel much? like it's more freeing and that I can just 
show people that like you can be a complete fucking weirdo and also be hot. <laughs> like that's true. So I've tricked so many people into fucking wanting to fuck me and thinking. <laughs> so I'm like, little do you know, I'm so weird, but. It's but I great. feel like they don't regret it afterwards. No, I think they're so good. That's, that's, you know, I think it works I have out. real fans, and that's something that I really appreciate. Like, yeah. with my whole entire fucking heart. Yeah. So. No, it's really, it's really, and so nice to meet them in person, too. It is so cute to meet them in person. Yeah. I'm so glad I'm here. It's really an honor to be here. Because yeah. it's like when, you know, when you're behind a computer and you're speaking into the ether. And, yeah. Or you're, like, DMing somebody, like, it kind of almost right. doesn't feel real and then when they come and they're like this person in front they're of like, you they're like oh my god it's like yeah it really adds that next level yeah it's really nice. like it's like we're here we're yeah. here we're together we're here I am here with you yes it's beautiful so yes. tell me about your upcoming anal adventures oh my god my little booty hole is gonna get fucked <laughs> so um am I allowed to cuss yes okay it's great. too late now anyways yeah, that's but yes, fucking so good <laughs> So, um, yeah, my first anal scene ever is going to be uh, with Isaiah Maxwell. Who I love. I love him. I love him. What's your favorite thing about him besides his day? Well, his balls. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. The, my favorite thing about Isaiah Maxwell um, is that he is incredibly sweet. He's so precious and we use the same shea of butter <laughs> so I trust so like if you don't have any then like yeah I'm like, like hey can I borrow shea. some and I, yeah we just lather each other up it's so hot and so like he's actually a friend um my you know he's met my dog so <laughs> that that's a lot when Demi brings you home to her dog me that is like, yeah like that's a lot so um I think I I really like that he is um, he's just kind. Yeah. He's sweet and he's gentle, and that is the type of person that I have in my ass. I've never yes. actually done anal with anyone that I um, didn't love. I've only done it with three people in my life. Oh wait, four, including Luna Star. <laughs> but everyone loves Luna Star. Everyone loves it. So Come that's the fine. fuck on. <laughs> but. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for that because you need somebody that you trust and are also really like horny for. So yeah. I'm like, this yeah. is perfect. This is yeah. great. Yeah. So um, are you planning on like, how are you going to prepare for this day? So um, I'm going to prepare by just doing really relaxing things. I'm going to get a massage the day before be in the bathtub and like try my different butt plugs out that's important i have been asking every single person like what what are your tips what are the do's what are the don'ts and so i've gotten a lot of um great information you know what i mean mostly from the gay community because that's who i trust yeah <laughs> they have a lot of experience in that area right yeah <laughs> so i'm like that's who i trust and i have gotten um it's been great. Like, I'm really excited about it. I'm so excited. The m number one thing I've been told is to relax. Because it's a muscle. It's a muscle. Yeah. I didn't, I just found out you have to, it's a muscle and you have to like work it out. So you have to like stretch it. I mean, the things we learn in porn, it's amazing. What? It's like such an education. Yeah. No, I have space. learned so much about the, hu like human anatomy in porn. Yeah. Like, in sex work in general, but, like, specifically in porn, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, it's, like, it's been great. I'm really excited. I'll be doing my first one with him, and then my second one with Small Hands, which will be, it's going to be great. That, Both of them I love, and yeah. they're actually my friends. Yeah. So, that's what I want. I And, you know, I, I love Small Hands, but he's... Not but, but he, he's like a little like comedian, like fun yeah. guy on set, and you are too. <laughs> so like I can just imagine that that day is going to be really fun because yeah. you're both goofballs. So gonna I see like, that there's going to be a lot of laughing and stuff. We like do that. laugh. It's so ridiculous. Like yeah. every time I have sex with that man, we're like being serious, and I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we crack up. I just leave it. I leave it. I don't edit it out. I just leave it, and everyone seems to love that and I, I really like that um, the fans have been able to 
pick up on the true sexual chemistry between me and certain talent. Yeah. And I would say um, Isaiah Maxwell and Small Hands are like two of the top people that they love yeah. seeing me perform with. And they're two of the most respectful, yeah. beautifully big dicked dudes. Yeah. So I'm they like, love yes. <laughs> Well, Demi, it's been so great chatting with you. It's I want to so let you get back to your fans. I know you have some people that are waiting for you. Thank you. Can you tell everybody where they can find you on social media? Thank you so much, Holly. You guys can find me on Twitter at Demi Sutra. It's hard because we're all shadow banned, but you'll be able to find me there. And my OnlyFans is DemiSutra.com. And um, Instagram, what is it? Uh, Braddy Demi underscore official fantastic and you guys can find me on instagram at holly randall and on twitter make sure that you guys go to joy city sign up for the email list and get up to date on all of the updates on this amazing new platform thank you guys so much